administration. In the administration tab, there are some items for you to change. This is the router password. When we logged in, you remember that we typed in admin, admin. This is where this is changed and should be changed by everyone to be a personal password so that someone cannot come in and change your configuration, turn off encryption, etc. cetera. Uh, to do this, we're going to put the cursor here. We're going to highlight the password, and we'll make it what you should make is something you'll remember but is private to you. In this case, for demonstration, we're going to make it H-H-I-C-C-D-E-M-O, and you will need to repeat that in the reconfirm box, H-H-I-C-C-D-E-M-O. This will change that admin, admin logon on the initial screen to be admin H-H-I-C-C demo, in your case, the password that you entered. This allows access from the web to this wireless router by HTTP or HTTPS. You'll want to leave the HTTP uh, interface checked as this is the interface you'll commonly use. Remote management is disabled by default. You will probably want to leave that set, but if you wanted to uh, access this router from the internet, you would need to click enable. Uh, the UNP settings should be left enabled as they are. You'll want to save the settings here to save your password for future use. Now at this point, our username password box has popped back up because the router has changed its password and we used H-H-I-C-C-D-E-M-O and we click OK and now we'll get the settings are successful and the router will recycle and come back to your page. Uh, in the log tab, you can enable logging if you would like to. This will let you view what's happening in your router. I would recommend doing it. Hit save settings. Our settings are saved. In the diagnostics, this area is where you can do ping tests or trace routes, which are internet tests, which if your ISP or someone helping you needed, they may instruct you to come here. Uh, factor defaults is where you could reset the router back to its initial state. A firmware upgrade, occasionally uh, Linksys will give you new firmware which you can download from the internet and here's what you look. The configuration management tab allows you to back up the router's configuration, that is take all the settings we have done previously and save them to your PC. I would recommend that you do this. When you click it, the save file dialog will be come up. Hit save. Choose a location you'd like to save it in. My documents is my recommendation. And you can leave it config or name it whatever you would like that's convenient. Do a save. It will come back with this box telling you the download's complete and you now have a backup on your PC. If you had to get a new box, uh, you reset the box. Whatever happens in the future, you can restore the exact configurations you have here by selecting the file from here and restoring it. The last tab is the status tab. This tab shows us the status of the router. Such things as your ISP address, your DNS servers, the local network. This will show our address on your local network, the lo network that your PC is hooked to, the network that your laptop will be hooked to. You can see who's on your network by hitting DHCP clients, and we don't have any at this moment because we're brand new. The wireless tab will show you what the MAC address is. It'll show you it's running in mixed 54 megabits per second. Here's your SSID, which you'll need to know. It is a DHCP server. It's running on channel 11, and this is the all-important encryption 